Hello, great tens. In today's lesson, we join Eloise as she investigates what happens to the volume if we change the dimensions of right prisms. Let's have a look. Have a look at the shape of this pizza box. It has a square base of 35 centimeters and a height of 5 centimeters. Although I don't know what the volume of the pizza was that was in it, I did work out the volume of this pizza box. It is 6,125 cubed centimeters. That's just over 6,000 cubed centimeters. Now to start this lesson, I'm going to ask you a really easy question. Estimate the volume of two of these pizza boxes. Remember, volume is the amount of space a shape takes. So it makes sense that two pizza boxes take up twice as much space as one pizza box. So that's about 12,000 cubic centimeters. That sounds huge. And three boxes would have a volume of three times 6,000, that is 18,000 cubic centimeters. And four would have 24,000 and, well, you get the idea. Now, here is the challenge. If we double the dimensions of the shape, does the volume double? What I mean is, if we double the length of these two sides of the base and this height, will we get double the volume? Think about this one. Make an estimate of what you expect the new volume to be. Right, let's put this to the test. This length will be twice 35 centimeters, which is 70 centimeters. This length will also be 70 centimeters, and this height will be twice 5 centimeters, which is 10 centimeters. The area of the base will be 70 centimeters times 70 centimeters. That gives us 4,900 centimeters squared. Then we can multiply by the height of 10 centimeters, so we get 49,000 centimeters cubed. Compare this with the original volume of 6,125 cubic centimeters. Wow, it is much more than double the original volume. If I divide this volume by this volume, I get exactly 8. So the new volume is 8 times bigger than the original volume. Is this what you expected? Doubling these two lengths and the height produced a volume 8 times bigger than the original volume. Look again at what we did when we had just two pizza boxes at the beginning. What dimensions of the box did I actually change? Can you see that I doubled the height, but I didn't double the other lengths? When I doubled each of the dimensions of the pizza box, it was like adding another box here, and here, and here. So it makes sense that doubling all the dimensions makes the volume eight times as much. Do you think we will find the same thing happening with another shape? I want to use these cubes for my next investigation. I will call the length of the cube one unit. That means the volume of one cube will be one cubic unit, one unit times one unit times one unit. That makes the calculations easy. Here I have a structure of three cubes. Then I can say that the structure has a volume of three cubic units. What would the volume be if I doubled it? Well, the amount of space taken up by the structure must just be doubled. So double the volume is 6 cubic units. In this doubling, I have doubled the sides length, but these sides have stayed the same. Now, here is our test. What happens to the volume if I double each of the dimensions of the structure? That means that this side will be 6 units long, this side will be 2 units long, and this side will also be 2 units long. I have doubled each of the dimensions of the structure. Because we have used cubic units and each block is one cubic unit, we could just count all the blocks. 
we could have calculated this volume using the formula as well. Area of the base is 6 times 2 times the height, which is 2. 12 times 2 gives me 24 cubic units. The new volume is 24 cubic units. This is 8 times more than the original volume of 3 cubic units. This is what we were hoping to find. Does this only work for right rectangular prisms? Let's look at another shape and see whether we get this kind of result again. Let's take a triangular prism like this one. Let's see what the volume of this box is. The formula for volume is area of base times height. To get the area of the base, I need to calculate half base times height on this triangle. The base is 3,5 cm and the perpendicular height is 3,1 cm. So I get half of 10,85 cm squared, which is 5,425 cm. Now I can multiply by the height of the box. That's 21 cm. And on my calculator that comes to 5,425 times 21, which is 113,925 centimeters cubed, or we can say cubic centimeters. Let's round this off to 114 cubic centimeters. Are you all with me up to this point? <laughs> right. That is the volume of one of these boxes. What would the volume of two of these boxes be? Easy. We just need to double the amount of space taken by one box. Double 114 cubic centimeters is 228 cubic centimeters. This is like doubling one of the dimensions of the prism, say this one, and getting this. Now we are ready to test our predictions. If what we found with rectangular prisms works for other prisms, then we should find that doubling all the dimensions of the triangular prism will make a volume eight times bigger than the original volume. What do you think? If I double each of the dimensions of this triangular prism, will I get a volume that is eight times bigger? I would have to double the base here, the perpendicular height here, and the height of the box. Volume is area of base times height. So we get half times 7 centimeters times 6,2 centimeters times 42 centimeters. That is 911,4 cubic centimeters. Does that look like 8 times more than 114 centimeters cubed? Let's check on a calculator. To be accurate, I need to use the exact volume we found of 113,925 and not the rounded off figure. 911,4 divided by 113,925 gives me exactly 8. Well, our conjecture about volume has worked on this pizza box, which is a right rectangular prism. It has worked on this cube, and now it has also worked on this triangular prism. Every time we found that when we only doubled one dimension of the shape, then the volume doubled. When we doubled all the dimensions of the shape, the volume of the shape was eight times more. Thank you for joining us. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Introducing Measurement Task video. You'll also be able to learn more about measurement on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn.